Okay, so in this video, we're going to do a short demo how to convert the HFSS design into a U2 keycad and then generate a Gerber file for manufacturing. Now, the first step is to go here, click Modeler, click Export, then go up here. We try to export a DXF file and save it somewhere. We call it uh, series feed. And then we open KiCad our PC. We first to create a new project. I have already created. You can create it yourself. And you see there is already a PCB file inside. We just double click this. Move it here. And then we import the DXF file. The HFS is just to generate. The scale we don't need to change. This line width, we change it to a extremely small value, which won't impact the manufacturing later on. Then we click OK. Here, one thing I want to mention is you first have to change the grid into this 0 0.01 millimeter so that every line is on the grid. And then we move it somewhere here. We first do a ungroup. And then delete, first delete some of the unnecessary lines. You can do it manually yourself. There are actually a couple of useful techniques we can, which you can use, especially in this antenna PCB join. Now, now the first thing is you can try to create a polygon and then fill the region into a copper. So you just press shift by selecting all of the lines. And then right click, choose create polygon from selection. And then click here, click the polygon. Click the properties and then try to choose build the shape so that this whole region is filled with the front copper. Another technique is when you try to draw a, let's say when you try to draw a line in another, in another layer, it turns out to be very thick. How to change this? You go here, add its predefined sizes. Defaults. I strongly recommend you to change the line width, the line width of every layer into a extremely small value, which will be useful. And click OK. Now when we draw the line, it appears to be very thin. So for a very simple antenna PCB, what you need is front copper layer, the backside copper layer. Then we skip all those detailed joints and directly jump into this antenna PCB final layout, final antenna PCB layout. So there are a couple of things I, things I want to mention. We first to make all those layers invisible. At the edge, we have a, a join called edge cuts, which defines the edge of this PCB. You can always go here to do a 3D view to take a look at what what's your final uh, PCB look, what your final PCB looks like. 
And then I try to make the backside a complete copper, which provides a perfect ground. You see, there are some small circles in the middle, which are vias, which connects the front copper to the backside copper. And I also draw two layers of mask, which means that I don't want to have PCB mask. Here, one thing I want to emphasize is by drawing this mask, you actually remove the mask. So by default, there should be mask on the PCB. And then there are two layers called the front paste and the backside paste, which is for you to solder some components on it for the later measurement. I always recommend you to do a 3D view to check what your final PCB looks like. And then the final step is to export the Gerber file. So you go here, try to do this, try to click this, Gerber. And then you can actually refer to some of the online tutorial. There are some like details inside. I just try to export all of these layers. Select the folder we want to export. I select this one. And then try to click plot. Okay, she's done. And then we also need to generate the drill files. Go here, use the same direction, and then click generate drill file. And then we just double click the folder so that make sure that we have all the things. Okay, everything's all set. And the next step is to send a Gerber file for manufacturing. I normally go to PCB Way because I can get the help from some Chinese customer service, but you're, you're more than welcome to choose other vend vendors and manufacturers. So these things are just the very normal. You can choose to choose 40 here. So for our antenna PCB, we use, we use the Rogers material, which is this one. And you have to choose one thickness. Make sure that this thickness is, is, is exactly the same thing that you use for the simulation. Otherwise, the electric property will differ. And then make sure that you have the minimum trace and spacing, the same thing as you draw in the keycat. Here, you have to remove the solder mask, okay? Because you, you normally don't take the solder mask in the simulation. And the silk, silk screen, which is the layer that basically uh, marks the components which you don't need for the antenna PCB. Just click now. Here for the surface finish, uh, you either go with any or any pick, depends on how much you want to pay for this design. And then we do a calculate and then save to the card, then upload your Gerber file and then discuss some detail for the, uh, discuss some further details with your customer service. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to valuable comments.